Autumn had come to the island of Sodor. The fields were changing from yellow stubble to brown earth, and the tractor was hard at work as Thomas puffed along. Later, Thomas saw the tractor close by. Hello, I'm Dance. I'm plowing the field. Um, Thomas, I'm pulling a train. Eh, what ugly wheels you've got. They're not ugly, they're caterpillars. I can go anywhere. I don't need rails like you. I don't want to go anywhere. I like my rails, thank you, said Thomas. Winter came down with dark clouds full of snow. I don't like it. A heavy fall is coming. I hope it doesn't stop us. Huh, silly soft stuff, nothing to it. Puffed out, feeling cold. They finished their journey safely, but by now the country was covered. Come on, Thomas, you'll need your snow plow for the next journey, said his driver. Huh, snow is silly soft stuff, it won't stop me. The snow plow was heavy and uncomfortable, as it made Thomas very cross. He shook it and he banged it, and when they got back, it was so damaged that the driver had to take it off. Oh, you're a very naughty engine. Next morning, Thomas's driver and fireman came early and worked hard to mend the snow plow. But they couldn't make it fit. Thomas was pleased. <laughs> I shouldn't have to wear it. I shouldn't have to wear it. <laughs> he puffed to Annie and Clara. who were rather worried. I hope it's all right. I hope it's all right. They whispered to each other. The driver was worried too. It's not bad here, but it's sure to be deep in the valley. Snow is silly soft stuff. I didn't even need that stupid old thing anyways, and I shunned today. Snow can't stop me. He rushed into a tunnel, thinking how clever he was. But there was trouble ahead. Ah! Oh, cinders and ashes. I'm stuck. And he was. Back, Thomas! Back! Thomas tried, but his wheel spun and he couldn't move. The guard went back for help, while everyone else tried to dig the snow away. But as fast as they dug, more snow slipped down until Thomas was nearly buried. All oh, my wheels and coupling rods. I shall have to stay here until I'm frozen. Oh, what a silly engine I am. And Thomas began to cry. At last, a bus came to rescue the passengers. And then, who should come to Thomas's rescue but Terence? Snow never worries him. He pulled the empty coaches away, then came back for Thomas. Thomas's wheels were clear, but still spun when he tried to move. Terence hugged and slipped, and slipped and tugged. And at last, dragged Thomas clear of the snow, ready for the journey. Thank you, Terence. Your calipers were very splendid. And I hope you'll remember to wear a snowplow in the future. I hope you'll be sensible by now. I'll try. Remember, you have to say sensible if you want to say safe, said Terence. And with that, Thomas humbly puffed away.
and we dig it. Yeah, yes, we, we can. can.